All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right in these times that we're in. Now, today, I want to discuss about mental strength and positive thinking. You know, mental health is a topic and discussion that many people today usually go into detail about, you know, with mental health and mood swings and focus and concentration, memories, trauma, you know, things like that. Um, things that be being verbally abused, how those things could affect your mental health as well, and all types of events that transpired in our lives, right? But, you know, the Bible tells us to renew our mind in Christ and let us not be transformed into the ways of this world. And it also talks about loving the Lord with all your mind, all your heart, all your soul. And it always talks about how spiritual warfare starts in the mind and being vigilant, being watchful, you know, being more spiritually aware, you know, and fight principalities of the air. You know what I mean? So your mindset, your mind has to be on things above and not below. You see what I'm saying? We have to put our mind on things that are noble, that are pure, that are true. You know, the whole nine, because that's what keeps us positive thinking. That's what keeps us mentally strong. That's what keeps us able to focus and concentrate on things better. When we just have our mind on things that's just directly right in front of us, or tend to think about the past too much. That's what keeps us in those bad mood swings. That's what keeps us in those recycled emotions and those mental burdens. You get what I'm saying? So it's important to be mentally stronger. It's important to have better focus, more clarity, no confusion. It's better to have better thought uh, thought patterns as well. You know what I'm saying? Like your thinking cycle, your thinking cycles. What are you feeding your brain? The stuff you're watching on TV, the stuff you're, the stuff you're streaming, the music you listen to, all those things affect your thinking. All those things affect your mental health. You know, if you're listening to bad, negative music, you're really abusing your brain when you do that because of those heavy instruments, that bass, the, that heavy sound, those bad vibrations, those bad frequencies that just flow all throughout your brain, which causes really bad, heavy headaches. You know what I'm saying? People today don't even listen to calm music or smooth, soothing music, which calms the brain, which eases the brain, which helps the cognitive function, which helps memory. You know what I'm saying? So we need to listen to more calm, smooth music, you know, listen to more gospel, listen to more jazz, listen to more upbeat music genres, listen to more reggae music, something more smooth and calm and relaxing, you know. Um, some people even listen to like meditation sounds and sounds of nature to help them sleep better or whatnot. So those things help as well, you know, but all in all, the things that we're watching, the stuff that we watch on TVs and stuff we watch on movies and stuff that we stream on our phones, that affects the mind too. You know, lack of exercise affects the mental health. Bad habits affect mental health. You see what I'm saying? So the mind is a very powerful thing and we have to take care of our brain. We have to take care of our health. You know what I mean? We have to take care of our diet, our exercising, the stuff that we put in our bodies mentally, too. You know, we got to be more watchful and aware of those things. You know, I feel like people today are more careless about that than ever, which causes all these health, mental health issues and uh, so what have you and self-esteem issues. You know, Um, a lot of people out there are having depression or sadness or suicidal thoughts. A lot of people are in dark spaces right now mentally. A lot of people um, have those real dark, violent thoughts towards themselves and towards others. Um, You have to really pull yourself out of that dark space mentally. You have to really reel yourself out of those real harsh thinking cycles, you know, because um, those things linger very hard. It could make you do really crazy stuff out of your character. You know, I feel like you got a heart of gold. I just feel like your mind needs to match it. You know what I mean? So... People that's dealing with uh, suicidal thoughts, I pray that you find more things to take your mind off those stuff. You know, I pray that you can find some peace and comfort somewhere in your situation in your life. I pray that you have someone to talk to and vent to. I pray that you have some emotional comfort. I hope that you have someone in your corner you could just air stuff out to, whether it's a friend or a neighbor or a coworker or a counselor or an advisor or a therapist, whatever. You know, it's not good to suppress your feelings and suppress your thoughts and your emotions. It's not good to just keep all those things boggled, bo- boiled up, you know, because you see these crimes today and these news stories that's coming out. A lot of people are releasing 
their bad thoughts from they're, 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 they're releasing all that violence from a bad thinking process. You get what I'm saying? Nobody's thinking things clearly anymore. Nobody is thinking things through because their mind is just on so much negative stuff and so much dark stuff, so much pain, so much rage, so much revenge, so much resentment. So they act out what their mind kind of plays in their brain. You know, what plays through their mind, that's what they act out. And then they end up doing something very crazy, you know, but you never know what someone is going through mentally. So you always have to have compassion and patience with people. You know, you know, everyone has different thinking patterns. One person may be thinking about wanting to harm somebody. The next person may be thinking about wanting to get revenge. The next person may be thinking about planning something that's not good. You know, you just never know what someone's intentions are, you know. So it's very random and scary dealing with people that they have interactions with people, have a conversation. It's just being around people, you know. But like I said, we're in the last days. We're in the end times. You know, this is the days of Noah. So, you know. People are more barbaric, people are more violent, people are more irrational. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I, I always wish peace and blessings on y'all. I always wish y'all to be safe and protected out there, man, because we live in a wild world. You know what I'm saying? So when we're dealing with people having interactions, we got to be very gentle, very delicate, be very compassionate, understanding, okay? Even if we don't want to, because it's not just for us, it's for that person's sake, too. If we can be able to calm someone down, if we could be able to talk someone out of something, that could solve and help a lot of little things that go on in this world. You get what I'm saying? So your mental strength and positive thinking is the thing, man. You know, just really try to get your head in a good space, you know. I feel like we all need that. We need like a mental vacation. You get what I'm saying? Because so much people just clogged up with work and their habits or school or their kids or their family or their friends and activities. We need that mental vacation. Okay. I think that's what will help us from bad thinking cycles or help us from suicidal thoughts or help us from depression or sadness or, you know, trying to recover and heal and deal with the trauma we experienced in our life. Whether the trauma you dealt with was from your childhood or a few years ago, or even recent, you know, um, those things take time. You know, healing and being restored takes time. Okay, those things are a process. Those things aren't overnight. So those things could be very grueling and challenging. But all in all, you have to always be able to face whatever you're dealing with and be honest about it. All right. So what I want to do is just read some scriptures about positive thinking or things dealing with the mindset and our outlook on ourselves and stuff and just go from there. All right. So let's go. The book of Philippines, chapter two, verse four. Do not merely look out for your own personal interest, but also for the interest of others. The book of Philippines, chapter one, verse seven, for it is only right for me to feel this way about you all because I have you in my heart. Since both in my imprisonment and in the defense of confirmation of the gospel, you are our partakers of grace with me. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 24, pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. The book of Philippines, chapter four, verse eight. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there's any excellence and if anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. Have your mind on these things. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 37. If anyone thinks he is a prophet or spiritual, let him recognize that the things which I write to you are the Lord's commandment. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7. Wanting to be teachers of the law, even though they do not understand either what they're saying or the matters about which they make confident assertions. The book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 17. Things which are a mere shadow of what is to come, but the substance belongs to Christ. The book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 22. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. The book of Job, chapter 34, verse 32. Teach me what I do not see. If I have done iniquity, I will not do it again. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 21. For where your treasure is, there your heart it will be also. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 21. Tell me, you who want to be under law, do you not listen to the law? The book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 5. 
Everyone who is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Assuredly, he will not be unpunished. The book of Philippines, chapter 2, verse 5. Have this attitude in yourselves, which also is in Christ Jesus. The book of Proverbs, chapter 2, verse 14. Who delight in doing evil and rejoice in the perversity of evil. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 23. And those members of the body which we deem less honorable, on these we bestow more abundant honor, and our less presentable members become much more presentable. The book of Psalm 139, verse 17. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God! How vast is the sum of them! The book of Second Timothy, chapter 2, verse 14. Remind them of these things, and solemnly charge them in the presence of God, not to wrangle about words, which is useless and leads to the ruin of the hearers. The book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 4. Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we would be holy and blameless before him in love. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 23. And that you be renewed in the spirit of your mind. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 6, the which, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. The book of Philippines, chapter 1, verse 10, so that you may approve the things that are excellent in order to be sincere and blameless until the day of Christ. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17, do not think that I came to abolish the law of the prophets. I did not come to abolish, but to fulfill it. The book of John, chapter 7, verse 17. If anyone is willing to do his will, he will know of the teaching, whether it is of God or whether I speak from myself. The book of First Philip, First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 7. For those who sleep during those who, who those who sleep do their sleeping at night, and those who get drunk get drunk at night. Now let's see. The book of Proverbs, chapter 2, verse 20. So you will walk in the way of good men and keep to the paths of the righteous. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 12. Rejoicing in hope, persevering in tribulation, devoted to prayer. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 2. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, showing tolerance for one another in love. The book of Psalm, chapter, the book of Psalm 1, verse 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 1. Therefore, if you have been raised up with Christ, keep seeking the things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 11 and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life and to attend your own business and work with your hands just as we commanded you. The book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 13 These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. The book of John chapter 5 verse 30 I can do nothing on my own initiative as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of him who sent me. The book of Philippines, chapter 4, verse 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 13. For, we, for if we are besides ourselves, it is for God. If we are of a sound mind, it is for you. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 27. He who diligently seeks good seeks favor, but he who seeks evil, evil will come to him. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 26. She opens her mouth in wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. Now, let's see. All right, y'all, there you have it with the scriptures of positive thinking, you know, and mental strength, because... It's basically about the Old and New Testament, especially New Testament. You know, Paul and Christ was always talking about the mind and your heart and, you know, setting your mind and heart on good things. You know what I mean? That's what helps us with that stability and getting us through tough times, especially in times like this. You know, you definitely got to be more sober and more vigilant than ever in times like this because, um, you know, prophecy is really being fulfilled and 
times are really hectic and unpredictable. So you really got to be strong mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, the whole nine, you know, because we can't walk around being too vulnerable or too weak. We have to stand strong in the Lord. We have to be courageous and bold. That's what God called us to be. He called us to be bold and strong. And our minds got to be right in order for things to go right as well, you know. So what I want to do is read some scriptures, not just read scriptures, but just tell you how great the most high in his son is. Hallelujah. He is the Adam, the advocate, the almighty, the alpha and omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author, finisher of our faith, the author and the perfecter of our faith. He is the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, Christ of God, consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true Faithful witness, first and last, first begotten, first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hero of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, king of Israel, king of kings and lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the light of the world, the line of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yeshua, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, Ahaya Yeshaya, our righteousness, Shalom. Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, Barakatha, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, mediator, messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, Passover lamb, power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and the life, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, the son of the most, the, the son of the blessed, the son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true life, the true vine, the way, the truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome creator, and his son is awesome as well. The blood still works. Hallelujah. So I pray to God that you get your more you get more mentally stronger. I pray that your focus is better. I pray that your concentration is better. I pray that you are restored from all the pain and hurt and trauma that you experienced throughout your life and you become a better, stronger person. I pray that you improve in all areas of your life. I pray that you find more comfort and peace in your current situation. I pray that you keep pushing and keep getting stronger through every obstacle that's in your way. And I pray that you know, God shows you things and reveals things to you, that your vision is more clear, your clarity is better, your wisdom, understanding, and knowledge just increases. I pray that the Lord constantly gives that to you. You know what I'm saying? I pray that your relationship with God gets much better. You know, I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace. Positive thinking.